Hey, what's going on? I'm Devon Holland, and today we're starting a brand new series called Dumbbells Only. In this series, I'll be giving you the best four exercises for each muscle group, and I'll be showing you in detail how to perform those exercises to perfection. In today's workout, we're gonna be training legs. Here are the best leg exercises to train with dumbbells, so let's get right into it. We're going to start off by identifying the muscles we're going to be training in the first two exercises. We have the rectus femoris, the vastus lateralis, the vastus medialis, and the vastus intermedius muscles. These muscles are the primary movers in this exercise, at least the first two, and here we go. The first one is a Roman chair, and I know this is a dumbbells only exercise, but I wanted to add this in because it really lights up those quad muscles like nothing I've ever experienced. So you're gonna rack the weights in the front rack position, and you're gonna put some tension on those bands and then push the hips back. I know a lot of people struggle with pushing their hips back and driving their heels into the ground but this is a great way to practice that so make sure when you're doing this you're leaning back and you're aligning the knees with the elbows that's when you know you're back far enough and you're really engaging those quads as you go down into the flexion position and you come up into the extension position you can really feel those quads engaged throughout the entire movement and i'll tell you 10, 15, you'd be lucky to get to 20 of these. And if you do, you're not doing enough weight. So let's get moving. Here is the dumbbell front squat that you can do without the band. If you don't have the band, this is, again, this would be technically the number one exercise is the dumbbell front squat. Love this exercise, great with the quads. If you want to add tension, just don't go all the way to the top. Keep the tension on the muscle. That's how we do it. The next exercise is lunges. These dumbbell lunges are great for people who don't like actually having weight on their back and really just like to keep it as functional as possible. So as you step forward, this is one of the most important things is keeping your foot stable and then making sure your knee moves forward just over that toe and this is going to give you the best contraction during this exercise having that back foot engaged is going to make sure you stay stable and balanced and then you have to focus on your vertical alignment especially with your back foot you want to make sure everything is in line and then you're going to have that vertical alignment in the front foot what that means is your hip your knee and your foot are going to be in one vertical alignment so as you press off and come back you're going to maintain the distance between your feet so that your hips and knees and ankles are all aligned the other thing you want to focus on is keeping your back straight a lot of people like to slouch over when they're doing these but if you maintain your spine erection then you'll actually feel more in your legs here I am adding tension to the exercise by holding for three seconds after each lunge. And what that does is it really just lights up those quads and fires up those muscles in a whole new way. So if it becomes easy, then add this variation in between and it will really turn, turn those muscles on. When you're performing these exercises, I need you to focus on the muscle. I need you to keep your mind on the movement. What happens when you're training is you get so distracted and you really just wanna go through the motions. But I advise you to work through that and really to stay focused on exactly what you're trying to perform. And again, practice to perfection. Develop that movement pattern and improve your movement so that the memory of that movement, even when you're exhausted, you'll begin to perform that exercise the same exact way every time, even under pressure. 
Moving into these next exercises, we're going to be working the semimembranosus, the semitendinosus, the bicep femoris, and the glute medius and glute maximus. These are the primary movers in these next two exercises, so let's get right into it. Starting off with the single leg deadlift, one of my favorite leg exercises, really works that unilateral working each leg in unison. We have your back leg is gonna be nice and straight and it's gonna be aligned with your shoulder. So as your shoulder comes down, that back leg comes up. Make sure you're reaching past your knee. Now, if you're going just above your knee, if you, if you have really tight hamstrings, that might be okay, but try to reach past that knee. Make sure you're pivoting forward, not rounding your back out and reaching down. Keep your back nice and straight, pivot from the hips. And make sure that when you're doing these, you're not trying to speed through them. Take your time, develop your balance, place your hand on your hips so your arm isn't swinging all over the place and throwing you off balance. Just Take your time with these and really focus on engaging with the muscle and training your body to improve its balance. You're gonna have a slight bend in the leg that's down and try not to keep it locked out because it's gonna make it a lot harder for you to pivot forward. And then moving into the last exercise, we have the single leg glute bridge. This is a great exercise. I don't see this enough. You're gonna be at 90 degrees, hip flexion on the leg that's up. You're gonna have a 90 degree knee flexion. You're gonna make sure you maintain that 90 degrees at both the knee and the hip. And you're gonna be pivoting on the bench, making sure your back is nice and straight. As you come down, you don't need to touch the floor, but make sure you get a good flexion at the hip. And then as you drive up, you're gonna make sure you engage, really engage that glute muscle, because that's the primary focus of this exercise is engaging the glute. So you're placing that weight right at the top of the thigh, not too far up, because as you come down, you, won't, you don't want that, you don't want your stomach getting in the way of that weight coming down to your chest and you wanna make sure as you come up, you can really drive and engage that glute muscle. And you can see I'm kind of balancing a little bit as I go along because I'm really focused on contracting that glute muscle as I go through these. Hey, thanks for watching this video. Here are the four exercises you completed and Stay tuned for a public announcement. Now let's be honest, not everybody can afford a personal trainer at times costing upwards of $500 a month. So my goal is to provide free content for those who can't afford my service, but who has the motivation and desire to take their life and fitness to another level. On this channel, you'll learn how to exercise efficiently, eat for performance, and develop a growth mindset that will help you keep your performance at a high level for life. So if you haven't already, go ahead and like and subscribe to this channel. And until next time, let's keep moving.